Is this thing on? <laughs> so tell me the story. Okay, so I got arrested in Iraq because I was riding down the road. And I saw a sign that said, you know, this way to Baghdad. So I stopped to get a picture of my bike in front of the sign to Baghdad. Stood back, took the picture, went to get back on the bike. Two guys popped out from behind this, uh, these bushes with machine guns. And thought I was a spy because on the other side of the sign to Baghdad was a unmarked brown brick building. Turns out it was a local military headquarters. So they thought, well, if I was interested in the outside, they wanted to let me come in to see the inside. Actually, they insisted I come in to see the inside. So they escorted me in the bike inside. And they took me into this room. And uh, after 15, 20 minutes, I get in this one room. And, and there, uh, this guy, I guess he was a general or something, sitting on the other side of this desk from me, half circle of soldiers with machine guns standing up behind me. And he's asking me all kinds of questions, where I'm from, who I work for. Why am I taking pictures of their military headquarters, all this? You know, I'm trying to play stupid, which I'm usually pretty good at. And, uh, you know, I was just taking a picture to sign the Baghdad. So, he, you know, on and on about asking me all these questions. And then he started looking through my camera and looking to see what other pictures I might have taken while I was in Iraq. He asked me where I'd been there, why I was there, where I was going, all this stuff. And uh, after a while, he stops, he's, he starts, he looks at the camera, and looks at me, and looks at the camera, and looks at me, <laughs> you know, kind of back and forth, like, you know, I'm like, oh, what the hell, you know? And he passes it over to the guy next to him, and that guy <laughs> looks at the camera, and looks at me, and looks at the camera, and then they just pass it around, they're all looking around the corner, looking at me, and, you know, <laughs> looking at the camera, and, and finally he gets back to the Grand Pooh Bar, or whatever he was, and, you know. <laughs> I got my neck strained like a chicken trying to see what the hell the picture is he's looking at. So he turns the camera around and shows me. <laughs> so before I got into Iraq, I stopped at this hotel in Turkey right before the Iraqi border. And I was joking on my webpage, and I was like, oh, look, this hotel has everything. It's a very fancy hotel. And I said, they even have an emergency Taliban repair kit. And I took a picture of a roll of toilet paper, and I took a picture of me in a mirror with the toilet paper wrapped around my head. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the picture that they found, and they're all like, you know, what the hell is this? <laughs> so then I go, you know, I get the fifth degree about that, you know, I'm like, oh, it's just, it was a joke for some friends that I emailed to, and who are these friends, and who are you emailing, and all this stuff. And about that time, I think it finally sunk into this guy that I was just some stupid-ass tourist from Alabama. <laughs> and that I was no threat whatsoever to him. And, and it's like their demeanor changed immediately. They're patting me on the back, bringing me bottles of water. Oh, what can we do for you? Blah, blah, blah. I hope you're having a good time. Thanks for visiting. I'm like, uh, well, you can let me go. <laughs> oh, no problem. Go ahead. Go. You know. So I had to stop once before I hit the border for gas, but other than that, I'll hold it. Because <laughs> I didn't want them to call me up and, uh, or call up someone and stop me and, you know, <laughs> detain me even more. <laughs> so yeah, it was my, uh, only time I got arrested last trip.